Welcome again. Today we will discuss four reduction reaction. First one is divalase, then we will discuss Wolf-Kirchner reduction and then Clemenson reduction and finally reduction with LDA. So, divalase full name is diisobutyl aluminum hydride. As you can see the structure, this is the isobutyl group is there, aluminum and hydrogen bridge is there. So, this exists as a dimer isobutyl LH hole 2 or as a trimer isobutyl LH hole 3. Commercially, divalase can be obtained as a neat colorless liquid or as a solution in hydrocarbon solvents like toluene and generally you can buy 1 molar, 2 molar, etc. It is miscible with numerous solvents like diethyl ether, THF, methylene chloride, chlorobenzene, toluene, hexane, etc. are the suitable of solvents and that is why it is used because of its miscibility, it has advantage. But it undergoes rapid oxidation in air and reacts vigorously with hydroxylic compounds such as water, alcohol, etc. So, this is a pyrophoric. Thus, the reduction with dibal should be carried out in the absence of air and moisture. So, this should be a dry reaction because dibal reacts with the moisture and also with protic solvents. The workup involves slow quenching with methanol followed by complete quenching with water because methanol quenches dibal as well as water also. Alternatively, dilute HCl can be employed, methanol destroys excess of dibal H. And there are various reduction can be carried out with dibal H. Suppose aldehyde ketones can be converted to alcohols with one equivalent of dibal H and the temperature will be higher. Also carboxylic acid to alcohols with three equivalent of dibal temperature is higher. Esters to alcohols with 3 to 4 equivalent dibal and higher temperature. Carboxylic acid to aldehydes, this is important reaction that the aldehydes can be stopped here and with 2 equivalent dibal H and temperature will be lower. Also esters to aldehyde, this is also an important reaction of dibal and only one equivalent dibal H you have to use for this case and the temperature will be lower. Lactones to lactals also an important reaction, here also you have to use only one equivalent of dibal and the temperature is lower. Alpha beta unsaturated ester to allylic alcohols, two equivalent of dibal H will be used. And this is also an important reaction because with LH you cannot carry out this reaction because double bond will be reduced. So, with dibal this is very selective, the double bond is untouched and the reaction also will be in lower temperature. Nitriles to aldehydes, this is also an important reaction of dibal when the reaction can be stopped at aldehydes with only one equivalent of dibal H and temperature to be lower. And nitriles to amines, this can be carried out with which two equivalent of dibal H and here lower or also higher temperature can be used. Okay, now we will discuss uh, mechanism of dibal aluminum hydride. So, mechanism of dibal H reduction is different to that of other metal hydride reagents. Primarily because it is a Lewis acid, this means it needs to coordinate to a Lewis base first before it is activated, then only it delivers the hydride intermolecularly. Unlike the other metal hydrides, it is an electrophilic reagent. Suppose we have already seen lithium aluminum hydride, there is a negative charge on aluminum. So, this is a nucleophilic reagent. On the other hand, dival H, this is this is a Lewis acid, Lewis acid or an electrophile. So, this is the different because aluminum di, di al, butyl aluminum hydride, this is a neutral and this is an electrophilic reagent. And for that, when it reacts with suppose with an ester, this is the dimeric dival H, this is a Lewis base center, this is Lewis base and this is a Lewis acid. So, first is coordinated with a Lewis basic center. Now, this coordination will happen that the oxygen aluminum bond is formed and you can see there is a negative charge on the aluminum and positive charge on oxygen. So, what happens? This becomes now nucleophilic center, nucleophilic and this is electrophilic center. 
So now, because this aluminum has a negative charge, now this is in equilibrium, so that hydride delivery will take place to the oxygenium ion, and this is called intramolecular intramolecular hydride delivery. And then you get this intermediate, and after elimination of OR, you get the aldehyde. So with dival H, you can get an aldehyde from an A star. And this is the reaction that if you A star, if you treat with one equivalent dival H minus 78 degree centigrade toluene, then you get the aldehyde. And what happens with one equivalent dival at minus 78 degree centigrade, this intermediate is formed and this becomes stable at the low temperature. So, further reduction is not possible that is the aldehyde further reduction is not possible because this intermediate is form which is stable and only aldehyde is formed only after work up. So, aldehyde is not generated in the reaction medium so that the alcohol cannot be formed because this intermediate is form which after hydrolysis only generates the aldehyde. So, this is very important. Is major application is to aldehyde to alcohol ketone to alcohol like this case. Here this bridge system if you see this hydride is coming from this down phase and you get the alcohol at the equatorial. So, this is thermodynamically stable. So, in dival A case the steric factor is not so important only the thermodynamics Now, with alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde with one equivalent of dival toluene 60 degree centigrade, you get this allylic alcohol. And here also, this double bond is untouched. This is very important because dival H is not an inclusive reagent, it is an electrophilic reagent, so double bond is not getting reduced. Chemoselective reduction of carbon in groups in the presence of aldehydes is possible. For that, you have to use this diethyl thiophenolate and toluene minus 78 degree centigrade, what happened the aldehyde is getting masked like this. So, aldehyde is masked and once the aldehyde is masked like this, then the ketone is naked and then the dival H reduction will take place on the ketone. And interestingly under this condition minus 78 degree reduction followed by 0 degree centigrade this moiety will cleave to the aldehyde. So, ultimately you get the ketone reduction and aldehyde is untouched. How you will prepare this one? This intermediate reagent can be prepared from 1.2 equivalent of triethyl aluminum and 1.1 equivalent of thiophenol. Also this reaction suppose if you have a mixture of ketone and aldehyde. Suppose if you have ketone of aldehyde, then under this condition what will happen? The ketone only will reduce. So, this is like mixture also uh, can work. This is not that in the same molecule the two carbonyl group has to be there, but separately if you have ketone and aldehyde also, the ketone can be reduced to the alcohol and aldehyde is untouched. Carboxylic ester to aldehyde with one equivalent of dival H and carboxylic ester to alcohol with two or more equivalent of dival H. This is very important reaction of dival that with one equivalent dival like this condition here one equivalent dival toluene minus 78 degree centigrade this ester is converted to the aldehyde and other bog group are untouched. This was reported in organic synthesis. Also this alkaloid here you can see there is a ester group is there and with dival H this will be one equivalent dival H minus 78 degree centigrade you get the aldehyde and that in situ generated aldehyde reacts with the primary alcohol to generate the lactol and this lactol is stable under this condition. So, in dival H condition lactol is very stable, it does not further react. Synthesis of allylic spiroethers is also possible with dival H, for that you need a system like this alpha beta unsaturated ketone and there is a ester group which is here and with 4 equivalent dival THF cyclohexane 1 is to 1 mixture minus 78 degree temperature. 
followed by 12 equivalent of base cell 6 molar aquas. So, it is quite acidic solution you have to treat. What happens first this alcohol is formed. So, this alcohol is formed and here also the alcohol is formed and when you treat with HCl what happens the secondary alcohol gets eliminated because the allylic carbocation is formed and this is quite stable carbocation. And now this primary alcohol will react on this double bond and the double bond will isomerize actually then you get this allylic spiroethers in very good yield and this was published in synthesis journal. Carboxylic esters to aldehyde there are more examples suppose this one Bailey's Hillman this is Bailey's Hillman product actually and this is OTBDMS group. So, this compound when treated with 2.4 equivalent divalase 1 molar in toluene dichloromethane minus 78 degree centigrade after 2 hours stirring you get this allylic alcohol and this TBDMS group is untouched. This was published also in synthesis journal and if you have this kind of complex structure here you can see various functional groups are there like the here is a carbamate group is there, here is a alphabet answer to ketone is there, here is a allylic ester group is there and this is the terminal ester this is alpha beta unsaturated ester this is the terminal and under this condition divalase minus 100 to minus 78 degree centigrade only the terminal alpha beta unsaturated ester getting reduced to the alcohol as well as aldehyde. So, alcohol is forming 62 percent yield and aldehyde is forming 16 percent yield. Also by Swan condition you can convert to the allylic alcohol to the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So, this is remarkable that there are various functional group is there and divalase is very selective to reduce only the terminal ester group. This was published in JAX 1997. Reduction of lactone to lactol also very important reaction of dival for that you have to use one, point, one equivalent of dival H diethyl ether solvent minus 78 degree centigrade you get the lactol and lactol can be equilibrium with the free form that the alcohol and the aldehyde is there. So, suppose this butyrolactone if you treat with dival H dichloromethane minus 70 8 degree centigrade followed by quenching with methanol and potassium sodium tartrate you have to use to this is used for separate of aluminum complex separate of aluminum complex which are formed after the reaction. And you get this butyrolactol in 99 percent yield get at the 99 percent yield and this was published in organic process research division. Nitriles to aldehydes or primary amines also is an important reaction. So, nitriles when treated with one equivalent of dival H this kind of imine intermediate is formed and there imine nitrogen there is a bond with aluminum and with aqueous workup you get the aldehyde. On the other hand two equivalent dival H and you have to use little bit higher temperature and then you get this double reduction of the nitrile to get this amine where two dival aluminum are present and after aqueous workup you get the amine. If you see this substrate there is a chiral center here, here, here and when it was treated with dival H section minus 78 degree centigrade followed by acidic workup you get the aldehyde and this chiral centers are untouched. So, they are not disturbed under this reaction conditions. Also if you have a benzonitrile with two equivalent dival H to in 110 degree centigrade followed by acidic work up you get the benzyl amine in good yield. Also if you see this substrate there is a nitrile motif here and also there is a ketal motif here and with dival H one equivalent you get this imine complex and now acidic work up you get the aldehyde and this ketal motif is untouched. So, this is a mild acidic maybe one normal HCl or ammonium chloride also will work for methanol. And this you can see there is a chiral center quaternary chiral center here and this is the cyano group with dival H minus 78 degree centigrade selectively the cyano go to aldehyde and you have to do the work up with 5 percent H2C4 and the furan motive is untouched 56 percent yield you can get this was published also in JAX. 
Reduction of one rate of amides is also possible. So, this is alpha beta unsaturated one rate of amide. And when it was treated with dibulb toluene, this is the toluene solution of dibulb in dichloromethane solvent minus 78 degree centigrade, you get 82 percent yield of this alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. This was published in Angu and the chemi. Hydride addition to propargyl chloride is also possible, and this is the reduced selective addition and which uh, 1 to 5 mole percent of this n heterocyclic complex. So, this is the imidazole system so imidazole um, uh, imidazole in anhydrocyclic carbene with 1 to 5 mole percent and then 1.5 equivalent of dibalized thf 22 to centigrade in 3 to 4 hours you get this aline. So, what happens the dibulb uh, that hydride delivery takes place from here and followed by elimination of this chlorine you get this aline. So, R is equal to alkyl 1 uh, R dash can be 1 degree alkyl hydrogen benzyl group etcetera this is published in organic letters. Also hydro alpha selective hydro elimination reaction is possible like this terminal alkynes terminal alkynes. with 3 mole percent nickel DPPP Cl 2. So, DPPP is diphenyl phosphenopropane with 1.3 equivalent dibalase THF 22 degree centigrade 2 hours starting you get this intermediate. And if you treat this with pinnacle boronate and 80 degree centigrade 24 hours you get this double bond this aluminum is replaced by pinnacle boronate and this reaction works is equal to R is equal to alkyl aryl groups. This was published in JAX. Now, we will discuss valve Kishner reduction. So, valve Kishner reaction was discovered independently by N Kishner in 1911 and L. Wolf in 1912. The carbonyl compounds which are stable to strongly basic conditions can be reduced conveniently to alkanes. So, this is very important strongly basic conditions is required for valve Kishner reduction. The CO group is converted to CH2 group. The carbonyl compound is first treated with excess of hydrogen to get the corresponding hydrogen which upon heating in the presence of base furnishes the hydrocarbon. So, hydrogen has to be formed and then the base will furnish the hydrocarbon. A high boiling hydroxylic solvent such as diethylene glycol DEG is commonly used to achieve the temperatures needed. So, this is the aldehyde or ketone and with hydrogen base as for example, sodium hydroxide you get the alkane. What is the mechanism? First the aldehyde or ketone can be reacted with hydrogen to generate this aminal then this OH minus will take up this proton to generate the water and after that again this OH minus will abstract this proton from the NH and now elimination of water will generate this one hydrogen. So, this is hydrogen and now this hydrogen again will be reacted with the base. So, base you need many times actually here, here many times you need the base and then again this NH will be abstracted by the base to get the water and now a negative charge is formed on the nitrogen and now this intermediate is formed diimide. After that diimide hydrogen also will be abstracted by OH minus and to generate this negative charge on nitrogen and now the nitrogen gas will be eliminated to generate this carbonyl. So, this is carbonyl and this carbonyl will be protonated by the solvent to get this alkane. So, th there are quite steps are there in this mechanism. Reduction of acetone gives propane. So, if you 
treat acetone with hydrazine KOH dithyl glycol heat you get the propane. Similarly, cyclohexanone with hydrazine KOH dithyl glycol heat you get the cyclohexane. And if you have a hydroxy group is present and this is the ketone motif here with hydrazine KOH dithyl glycol heat you get the alkane here and the hydroxy group is untouched in this reaction. Also, if it is alpha chloro tetralone, so this is alpha chloro tetralone, is treated with hydrogen KOH dihydride glycol heat, you get this compound tetrahydronaphthalene chloro and since KOH is a strong base, so the elimination will happen. So, E2 elimination is possible and to get this uh, unsaturated compounds. So, this elimination happens here. What are the limitation of Volkischner reduction? High boiling solvents such as ethylene glycol, long reaction times 50 to 100 hours. That is why several modification of Volkischner reduction have been reported. First was reported by Huang Millon, which is called Huang Millon modification. Here he used 85 percent NH2 NH2 water, so remaining 50 percent is water and KOH as the base. Solvent is ethylene glycol. Here the reduced reaction times is important. Higher temperatures can be reached, no need to use anhydrous hydrogen. Suppose if you have a keto carboxylic acid here and if you treat it with 80 percent, 85 percent hydrogen hydrate with KOH base ethylene glycol heat, you get this intermediate hydrazone and now this hydrazone can be removed, the removal of excess hydrogen and water by distillation at 180 to 200 degree centigrade will generate this alkane. So, one limitation of this is that distillation is required. So, this is the excess hydrogen and water you have to remove by distillation that is a drawback. However, th the advantage is reduced reaction times. Button modification, carbonyl compound here and then anhydrous hydrogen sodium has to be used. High boiling solvents such as diethylene glycol allows decarbonylation of sterically hindered substance. So, this is very important sterically hindered substance it can be useful like this steroid system. Steroid system when treated with anhydrous NH2 hydrogen and sodium diethylene glycol 200 degree centigrade 12 hours if get both ketones reduced to the carbon here and you get this product in 69 percent yield. So, one disadvantage of this harsh reaction condition, but useful is the sterically hindered substrates. Cram modification. Here he developed this strategy through slow addition of preformed hydrazones to potassium tartbutoxide in DMSO as reaction medium instead of glycols allows hydrocarbon formation to be conducted successfully and temperatures as low as 23 degree centigrade. So, this is very mild, mild conditions. Suppose this one, this hydrazone is the substrate and it can be added slowly to potassium tertiary butoxide in DMSO and in 25 degree centigrade you get 64 percent yield of this bridged compound. Isolation of hydrazone and slow addition is necessary, this is an disadvantage, but advantage is that temperature can be very low 23 degree centigrade. Then Cagliotti developed and he developed with tosyl hydrogen instead of hydrazine, he used tosyl hydrazine and so the tosyl hydrogen will be intermediate and hydride donor is required. So, here no base is required. This is very important, no base is required only hydride donor. Temperature can be 66 degree centigrade, mild reaction condition, no base necessarily possible with a variety of reducing agents like LH, sodium borohydride can be used. 
for an example this kind of structure with tocyl hydrazon with lithium aluminum hydride thf reflux overnight you get this product so this became reduced here and you get 65 percent so this is very important no base that means if base sensitive group is present that can be reduced under this condition however one disadvantage is there preformed tocyl hydrazone is required and then hutchkin modified this strategy using sodium cyanoboroidide as the reducing agent unlike sodium boroidide sodium cyanoboroidide is stable in mildly acidic medium and because aldehyde and ketones are reduced much lower than protonated imines or tocyl hydrazones the tocyl hydrazone may be generated in the presence of tocyl hydrazine sodium cyanoboroidide the carbonyl compound and the acid catalyst so this means in situ preparation of tocyl hydrazone so that is the uh, condition uh, uh, that is the contribution of by hutchkin the reaction was conducted at 100 degree centigrade in mixed solvent system of dimethyl formamide and sulfolane unhindered aliphatic ketones are successfully reduced by this procedure but hindered aliphatic ketones such as 335 trimethyl cyclohexanone required preform tocyl hydrogen prior to reduction so unhindered aliphatic ketones that can be in situ the tocyl hydrogen can be generated but for hindered one you have to preform tocyl hydrogen should be used so this is the mechanism that mild acidic condition this can be protonated the tocyl hydrogen then sodium cyanobar reduces and now the sulfinate will eliminate to get this imide so this is imide and di imide and now the nitrogen will eliminate to generate this alkane this advantage it uh, tolerates esters amide cyano nitro and chloro substituents with sodium cyanoboride as hydride source however does not tolerate primary bromo and iodo substituents so primary bromo and iodo cannot be used under this reaction condition with alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds this reaction also can be carried out and here instead of a alkene it generate produce an alkene surprisingly the double bond was located between the alpha carbon and the carbon of the former carbonyl group suppose this substrate when treated with tocyl hydrogen ethanol this hydrogen is formed and now so there is a double bond now with sodium cyanoboride at dm of 100 degree centigrade you get the reduce and also the double bond is isomerized so isomerized alkene is formed so this is very important this also we have discussed earlier suppose this hydrogen which can be generated from one acetyl cyclohexene this hydrogen when treated with sodium cyanoboroidide hcl dmf sulfolane and ph will be 3.8 you get 79 percent yield of this alkene also cinnamaldehyde derived hydrogen so this is cinnamaldehyde its reaction with tocyl hydrazine generates the hydrazone when treated with sodium cyanoboroidide hcl dmf sulfonen ph 3.8 you get this alkene in 98 percent yield so mechanism there are two possible mechanisms are considered first one is hydride delivery in a one four fashion to conjugated tocyl hydrazone leads to vinyl diimide which collapses to the alkene so one four addition and like this way so if in one four case this hydrazone is formed and then the hydride reacts one four fashion and this hydride adds here then the double bond becomes here and this is the imide form so this is vinyl imide vinyl diimide diimide and after nitrogen elimination you get the alkene 
Alternatively, hydride delivery in one to more results in allylic diimide. So, one to possible also uh, rearrangement gives rise to the observed product. So, in one two cases, so these cases the hydride attacks to this imine nitrogen here you can see this and after that the so this is allylic diimide. So, here vinyl diamide here allylic diamide and then 3 3 sigma topic rearrangement will take place to generate after nitrogen elimination you generate this alkene. So, to verify that whether 1 2 or 1 4, so they studied some deuterium studied. So, Gribel de demonstrated that sodium borohydride in acetic acid and tetrahydrofuran serves as an efficient uh, substitute for sodium cyanoborohydride. So, sodium borohydride and acetic acid is a good substituent for sodium cyanoborohydride. Using this reagent protocol, Hodgkin investigated the reduction of beta ion tosyl hydrogen with the goal of resolving the mechanism of the reduction of conjugated substrates. So, this was the beta ion known beta ion known tosyl hydrogen and when this was treated with sodium BDA4 in acetic acid you get 75 percent yield of this. So, deuterium is here where the uh, hydrogen that carbon there the deuterium is there and double bond of course has migrated. Alternatively when sodium borohydride and DOC is used then the deuterium is here the allylic position and this tells the 1 2 addition is the plausible mechanism. So, 1 2 addition is the most possible mechanism. Also, if you treat this substrate with NAB, DA4 and DOAC, then both deuterium will be incorporated. So, here both deuterium will come. So, this tells that 1 to addition is the most possible. Myers modification here carbonyl compound is used and 1 to be start butyl dimethyl silyl hydrogen scandium triplet Lewis acid and potassium tartary butoxide base solvent is DMSO temperature is mild condition 25 degree centigrade. So, this is very mild reaction conditions and this complex substrate when treated with this hydrogen tosyl derivative with catalytic scandium triplet potassium tartary butoxide tartbutanol DMSO 23 degree centigrade you get this reduction and the product is from 91 percent yield. Limitation synthesis of 1 to be start butyl dimethyl silyl hydrogen is necessary. So, Myers also did this modification that adding alkyl lithium reagents to aldehyde tosyl hydrogens to achieve the same end. Here conjugated tosyl hydrogen is first protected with tart butyl dimethyl silyl triplet at low temperature to produce the derivative derivative tosyl hydrazone. So, this compound is formed. So, hydrazone is treated with this triplet triethylamine you get this silyl group here. Now, exposure of the protected tosyl hydrogen to n butyl lithium at low temperature affords the lithium amide. So, lithium amide is formed here you can see this butyl group has added to the hydrazone here and Acetic acid and this is the solvent ethanol at minus 20 degree centigrade initiates a cascade of reactions. So, loss of palatolin sulfenic acid afforded the silyl diimide. So, this is the silyl diimide. So, elimination of this group and desalination led to diimide which rearrange with double bond migration and loss of nitrogen. So, now silyl group is eliminated you get this diimide and after loss of nitrogen and double bond migration here you get this compound with EZ12 is to 1 selectivity. 
the predominant E isomer arises owing to the n butyl group being equatorial in the transition state. So, this is the transition state n butyl group in the equatorial position. So, you get the E isomer as the measure. Now, we will discuss Clemenson reduction. So, in Clemenson reduction, G amalgam ACL is used. Reaction is named after Eric Christian Clemenson, a Danish chemist in 1913. Ketones or aldehydes reduced to alkanes using zinc amalgam and concentrated HCl. Substrate must be tolerant to strong acidic conditions. Clemenson reduction is complementary to Volkischner reduction, which requires strong basic condition. Thus, the acid labile substrates should be reduced by Volkischner reduction. So, here it is complementary, here acid is used and in Volkischner base is used. So, this is the overall reaction a ketone or aldehyde with treatment zinc amalgam HCl you get the alkane. Mechanism the reaction mechanism of Clemenson reduction has not completely been clarified, but the corresponding alcohol is thought not to be an intermediate. So, this is an important thing that the alcohol is not intermediate. The reaction is believed to occur by the zinc metal surface which involves protonation of the carbonyl group and a concomitant electron transfer process to give an organo zinc intermediate A. So, first the protonation and then the zinc comes. So, zinc gives one electron and then this radical is formed. So, the radical can uh, give the pinnacle this is a side product. Alternatively, this radical react with zinc to generate this organo zinc intermediate. So, this is organo zinc and now this can go to the alcohol. Alcohol is also a side product if it is actually formed and now the protonation of A followed by abstraction of water and stepwise electron transfer yields a carbon and B. So, this organo zinc compound is treated with acid then water will eliminate you get this carbocation here and this carbocation after treated with zinc here also one electron is coming then the carbonion is formed. So, this is a carbonion and carbonion traps a proton to generate this organo zinc finally, methylene group is formed by exchange of the zinc with another proton. So, this organo zinc becomes alkane by reaction with acidic proton. Examples this kind of stator system can be used also here the zinc metal is itself can do this reaction with HCl gas in ether 80 to 84 percent yield you get this product. Also if you have a acetate group we under this condition acetate group we know this is a base sensitive. So, with acid condition this group is untouched and you get only reduction of this ketone to generate the alkane. Similarly, if you have a benzaldehyde derivative with zinc amalgam HCl you get this toluene derivatives in 60 to 67 percent yield. More examples like cyclohexanone if it is treated with zinc amalgam HCl water you get cyclohexane in 75 percent yield. Also, acetophenone with zinc amalgam concentrated HCl you get one ethyl benzene in good yield and aldehydes like long chain aldehyde heptanal with zinc amalgam HCl water it gives N heptane 72 percent yield. So, ketones as well as aldehydes can be used. Now, we will discuss lithium diisopropyl amide as a effective reducing agent. So, this is the diisopropyl group. So, isopropyl here. So, this is secondary amine and now the secondary amine one hydrogen is replaced by lithium. So, this is a strong base. This can be formed if you treat with butyl lithium with this diisopropyl amine you get this LDA. This is used as a strong base, it is good solubility in non-polar organic solvents and non-nucleophilic in nature. So, this is also important, this is bulky. So, does not act as a, a nucleophile. 
colorless solid, but is usually generated and observed only in solution. First prepared by Hamel and Levin in 1950, and reduction of non energizable thioketones and nitroarenes. So, its main reaction as a reducing agent with non analyzable thioketones and nitroarenes. So, reduction of thioketones like if you have a non analyzable here this is a quaternary center and with LDA THF followed by iodomethane. So, iodomethane is the electrophile and this double bond is getting reduced to single bond followed by a reaction with iodomethane give this thioether in 68 percent yield. Alternatively, if you treat with ammonium chloride water, then you get the thiol here. So, methyl group coming from this iodomethane. Scope of this reaction, so defined non analyzable Like this compound is from 68 percent yield, this is adamantane system here also quaternary quaternary system and here you get 42 percent yield, this system 52 percent yield, this one ferrocene system 37 percent, this one instead of dimethyl cyclohexyl group is there the yield got enhanced to 80 percent yield, here this is a chiral you get 47 percent yield this system you get 41 percent yield and this one when a thiophene group is there the yield is less. So, this might be this might be a higher nucleophilicity of thiophene. So, that means there is a thioketone is becoming conjugated with the thiophene system that is why it is not getting reacted well in this condition. So, the what is the mechanism now NDA in the reaction with non elogiable thioketones acts as hydride donor hydride transfer via a 6 member transition state A. So, this is the 6 member transition state A and here you can see that the lithium it binds with the sulphur and this is the hydride because isopropyl group like earlier also isopropanol and isopropyl group there is a hydrogen. Hydrogen is there and this hydrogen is acting as a hydride. So, one of the isopropyl group hydride is delivered to this double bond and now lithium is coordinated. So, this is a 6 membered. And here a double bond will form. So, leads to thiolate B, thiolate B is formed and this imine is formed, the respective imine C is formed as a side product. So, this is a side product, side product or better it is a by product actually because it is forming from the reaction. So, this is by product, this imine. So, the hydride is delivered to to this double bond and you get the thiol and you get the imine. Reduction of nitroarenes also is possible like here you know to define nitroarenes with LDA the aniline derivative and azoxyarene. So, this is azoxyarene is also formed. Suppose when nitrobenzene is treated with LDA you get amino arene 51 percent 32 percent yield of azoxy arene. 2 chloro it gives similar yield of both compounds 3 chloro also here a little bit higher azoxy arene. 4 chloro 4 methyl you get higher yield of azoxy arene and this compound is from little lower yield. 4 methoxy you get almost similar yield and when 4 phenyl is there that is the biphenyl system you get 42 percent yield of aniline and 45 percent yield of this azoxyarene. So, yield got enhanced and two phenyl cases you get 50 percent yield of this aniline and 4 percent only to of the azoxyarene. 
reduction of nitroarenes there are more examples here you can see if the nitroarenes so here the nitro group is attached if this nitroarene containing a carboxylic acid and methyl derivative this gives aniline compound in 30 13 percent yield on the other hand azoxyarene is from 37 percent yield and this is pyrene system so pyrene system gives interestingly only 5 percent yield of the amino derivative on the other hand azoxyarene is formed in 83 percent yield so the high yield for azoxyarene then 2 3 dimethyl phenyl system gave almost equal amount is 43 percent of aniline and 28 percent of azoxyarene also 2 4 dimethyl similar yields 31 24 percent yield Interestingly, one naphthyl system does not react so well in this condition with LDA, only 10 percent yield of the amino arene and 7 percent yield on the azoxy arene is formed. So, very low yield uh, of esters to aldehydes, also nitriles to aldehydes, and alpha beta unsaturated esters can be converted to the allylic alcohol also alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes can be converted to the allylic alcohol. So, these reactions cannot be possible with lithium aluminum hydride because the mechanistic difference between lithium aluminum hydride and dival. Dival H is a neutral compound and it is an electrophilic reagent and also a Lewis acid. So, the aluminum should bind with a Lewis base then only the hydride delivery will take place. Then we have discussed Wolf-Kirchner reduction. This is reduction of ketone to alkanes with hydrogen and strong base like KOH is used also high temperature and uh, different groups can be used for this reduction. However, the drawbacks are high reaction temperature and strong bases. So, different modification has been developed. First one was developed by Huang and who used the hydrogen. Uh, 85 percent hydrogen hydrate and with this condition the uh, reaction time was reduced. Then, uh, then button developed another reaction condition with hydrogen and sodium. Here what happened here the statically hindered substance can also be used and then cram came another strategy cram used that hydrazone can be slowly added to potassium tartrate butoxide and DMSO solution. And under this condition, the reaction temperature can be lowered to room temperature like 23 degree centigrade. And then another, another strategy was developed with tosyl hydrogen and with tosyl hydrogen, the requirement of the strong basis was eliminated. And in this case, hydride source like lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydride was used. And then Hodgkin came up to use sodium cyanoborohydride because sodium cyanoboride is a mild reducing agent and also it can survive slightly acidic condition. So, under these conditions tosyl hydrogens can be generated in situ from ketones and tosyl hydrazine. Also allylic ketones alpha beta unsaturated ketones can be reduced with sodium cyanoboroidide and under this condition sodium cyanoboroidide and tosyl hydrazine under this condition the uh, rearrangement of the double bond was observed and most likely the mechanism follows 1 to addition. Then we have discussed Clemenson reduction and Clemenson reduction its zinc amalgam and acidic condition is used like HCl. Also uh, instead of zinc amalgam simple zinc can be used. So, this reaction is only useful when uh, base sensitive group is present because acid label groups will react under this condition. And last we have discussed LDA as a reducing agent. So, LDA is generally used as a base, it is a non nucleophilic base. So, it can reduce selectively non elogiable thioketones as well as nitroarenes. So, thioketones uh, are selectively reduced. So, thioethers or thiols, if you treat with methyl iodide, you get the methyl group in the thiol. Uh, alternatively, with ammonium chloride water, you get the thiol. And also nitroarenes can be reduced to aniline derivative and azoxyarene. Thank you.